Hey, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm the president of the Dice Tower, a show where we talk about board games. I'm 43 years old, and I'm doing a series here about games that changed my life, 20 different games at various points in my life. Today, I want to talk about a classic game, Stratego. Now, Stratego was a game, up to, st to the point I had played Stratego, I had considered that there was strategy in games. I had learned mostly roll and move games, Monopoly, and yes, there was trading and negotiation, Monopoly. And I had played games like Careers, where you moved and there was cool things. I played a lot of Sorry. But Stratego was something that kind of blew my mind. And my parents bought this one for my birthday. And when it came in, and I went through the rules, and I thought, wow, each of the pieces moves differently. And suddenly it kind of dawned on me, there was no luck in this game. Now, yes, chess had existed, and at this point in my life, I was looking into chess a little bit, messing with it, and checkers, and I knew that these kind of games existed. But to have a game like that where the pieces move differently, but more importantly, your opponent didn't know which piece was where. Stratego is really straightforward. The lower number beat the higher number. A one was better than a two. A two was better than the two threes. Threes were better than fours. But anything, if it hit a bomb, was gone. Except eights could take out bombs. Nines could move all the way across the board. And then there was this little spy piece, which was basically a garbage piece. Except it could take out your opponent's one if it attacked first. And I played this game, and it was interesting. I played against my father, and I won. And I, I played against neighborhood kids. I thought I was hot stuff. I got pretty good at the game to the point where sometimes I would play against them, showing them where all my pieces were and still winning, which was very cocky, and I don't recommend it. And then I remember playing against one of my father's friends, Jeff, who came in and just whooped up on me. And he did things like he had a double layer of bombs. So I went, hit the bomb, and my, my character died. And I came in with the eight, and I was like, hey, hey, hey. And then he's like, no, that releases my number two, who had been hiding behind his bomb the whole time. And I'm like, oh, I'll kill number two, not come forward. There's another bomb? What? And things like putting your flag near the front, and your opponent just runs right by it. Now, I don't think Stratego is any great masterpiece of strategy, but I put more thought and play into this game than I had in any other game up to this point. The idea that I am sitting there and each time the board, you can completely set it up any way you want, was just phenomenal to me. This also was a big game for me because this was the first game for me that I took out into my neighborhood. Uh, my, I, as a kid, I did not have all the cool toys that some of my neighbor friends had. I had very few Legos, I had very few G.I. Joe and Transformers and micro uh, cars and all the different things that were out there. But I had board games and I said, I want to share these with my friends and I brought them out. And like I said, was kind of a jerk about it to some degree, but the idea that finding people and metting my will against theirs. Up to that point, I kind of just played with the family. And I'll talk more about that in other videos, which I think is really important. But here I wanted to go out against other people and test my mettle against theirs. And losing to my dad's friend was kind of a humiliating experience because I thought he was an old man <laughs> in his 40s, right? And he whooped on me and I thought, wow, I got to be able to get better at this game. And I was able to beat him later on and it felt amazing. And that idea of learning and becoming better at a game had never really occurred to me much. I mean, I thought I was getting better at games, but Stratego taught me that idea of long range planning, trying to outthink your opponent, and a little bit of the bluff and double bluffs. It was a fascinating game. And while I haven't played Stratego in probably a decade, I still remember exactly how it's played. I still remember all those games that I played of it. It's one of my most played games in my life. Very good. I appreciate it. And that is one of the games that changed my life.